Hello and welcome to Extreme DX. I'm your host, Bruce Carter. So, what's so extreme about it? DX is the art of distant radio reception. And some of these scenarios should not be possible, but they are. This will be primarily a science page. A lot of people have asked why I don't do evening or nighttime band scans. The atmosphere is just too unstable and unpredictable. You're not going to get repeatable results. If it's not repeatable, it's not science. So we're going to take and concentrate on just the science of DXing. I'm going to begin with the Kodosan DX286. A lot of people have said this is the most sensitive portable radio ever produced. That is a very big claim, and big claims will demand extraordinary evidence. So we're going to test this thing the way it's not been tested on other pages. I've identified several different configurations that we're going to test. Configuration number one is just what you see, the radio by itself. Now when you get into the ab actual testing, I'm going to be testing several frequencies. The first one's already displayed. I picked these because they're a combination of rim shots and very weak fringe stations. I'm not going to concentrate on local because all it's going to tell you is the radio does a fantastic job of receiving local. That's not very useful. So I'm going to concentrate on these weaker stations. Figuration number two, inductively couple a Turk AM Advantage loop. Why not direct couple? I may do that later, but uh, it's been my experience that if you direct couple into the radio, you can overload it. So I'm not going to concentrate too much on that at this time. Configuration number three, a relic from when I lived in Dallas, a two foot loop that I constructed for weak AM stations up there. I got it out of the attic, dusted it off. It still needs a lot of work, but it'll do for the testing today. Configuration number four, C crane, twin coil, ferrite antenna. I'm concentrating on things that you can actually buy and you can still buy the twin coil uh, antenna from uh, C Crane. For this test, we're gonna be inductively coupling it with this little inductive loop that I'm gonna place near the radio. I've already tested this direct coupling into the radio and it overloads. Configuration five, the radio by itself with uh, the internal ferrite bar disconnected and the whip antenna extended, no of amplifier. Configuration number six, same thing, but with the internal amplifier turned on. Configuration seven, internal whip antenna, amplifier on, plus a couple of clip leads attached to the whip antenna. This is a nod to the long wire antenna people. I'm not going to connect a long wire to it because I'm in such a high interference area that I would just get noise. But it, putting two clip leads will quickly determine if extending the length of the antenna helps at all. Configuration 8, Kodosan out and RF 2200 in. The reason? All science requires a control unit. Many people have touted the RF2200 as the best portable ever made. So if the Kodosan DX286 is to beat it, we need to compare. Call 800 Ready to 
traffic police, visit MadisonTruck.com today. On E20 and 93.3 FM, WBAP. Centers provides free ultrasounds to mothers considering abortion. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. By Thursday, we start to come down off of it. We schedule Thursday. He's the apostate that he's described. Not sure about that. Now, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come up. Day in inflation and his angel. And then the judgment of the great. Amen. It's going to stand there. All the people are going to be thinking, am I right with God? Chapter 2 into chapter 3 into chapter 4 is the sad, pathetic. DX286 has a dB meter on it. Well, it gives you a little two-digit digital display, and that allowed me to take data. And so this is limited by what uh, OpenOffice can plot, so the graph is a little hard to interpret. But basically, only the yellow line and the light blue line subjectively, very subjectively, beat the RF2200 on listenability on a weak signal. The yellow line corresponds to the twin coil from C Crane, and the light blue line corresponds to the long, long wire, ha, two clip lead long wire, antenna. And so there are the results. So how am I going to call this one? Internal ferrite busted. The Turk AM advantage busted. The whip without amplification busted. Whip with amplification busted. None of those are better than an RF-2200. The two-foot loop, the twin coil uh, ferrite bar from C-Crane, and the two clip leads attached to the whip, plausible. That's about it for this analysis of the DX-286 from Koduson. By the way, the only instances I can find of a Q being used by itself in the English language are the country Iraq and the style don't, burqa. In both cases, it's K. So I think the correct pronunciation is kodosen. Bye till next time.